waiting for the verdict in a cage. On the left is the Australian correspondent Peter Grester, who used to work for the BBC, with his colleagues Mohammed Fahmi and Baha Mohammed. They're now facing seven years in prison on charges they spread false news and helped the banned Muslim Brotherhood. Baha Mohammed was sentenced to a further three years on a separate charge. As the judge read out the verdicts, there was uproar in court. Relatives and many of the journalists covering this case had been hoping for an acquittal. The three men deny all the charges against them. They say accusations they help the Muslim Brotherhood are absurd. Mike Grester, Peter's brother, says he can't understand the ruling. I don't know how the judge came to that decision. I'd be very interested to, to hear his, his reasons for giving that verdict. It doesn't make any sense. The mother of Mohammed Fahmi says her son has done nothing wrong. If they have found any evidence, how many years they, should, they, 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 they could give him? For nothing they give him, seven years? Al Jazeera says the sentences defy logic and any semblance of justice. There's been international condemnation of this case, which raises big concerns about the freedom of journalists in Egypt. But the way this case has been presented in the Egyptian media is very different. Al Jazeera is perceived as supporting the Muslim Brotherhood, which has been designated a terrorist organization. As such, it's seen as an enemy of the state. The journalists say they will appeal against the verdicts, but for now they're behind bars at this high-security prison. Bethany Bell, BBC News, Cairo.